In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to plot multiple continuous curves, continuous functions, um, in the same figure window. So this is an example that we went through last time, uh, or in a previous example. So we have x equals from 0 to 2 pi, stepping by 0 0.01. So start value, stepping value, uh, ending value. And then y is going to be the sine of x. Again, this is in radians, so we have sine of x. We're going to plot x comma y. We're going to have an x label, a y label, a title, a grid. We've constrained our axis from 0 to 2 pi and from negative 2 to 2. Uh, and then we've plotted. But I want to plot multiples. So we're going to call this x1. And then this is going to be x1. OK. Um, we're going to make some space here. We're going to make some space here. Because now I would like y2 to equal the cosine of x. I would like y3 to equal 2 times the sine of x. I would like y4 to equal 2 times the cosine of x. I would like y5 to equal the sine of 2x. I would like y6 to equal the cosine of 2x. So now we have a few different examples. I want to plot x and y1 and then... Well, let's see how it looks all by itself. So x and y2, x and y3. Now, that's going to get a bit tedious. So here we go. That's 4, 5, and 6. So we'll say 6 before 6 is 5, before 5 is 4. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, let's see how this looks. We'll run it. We get an error. Y, oh, y1 comma x left out a comma uh, and now this is the curve that or the the figure that we get so that's fun right this shows us all of the variants or options of taking our base sine functions multiplying uh or at least i'm sorry two times the magnitude of the sine function or two or the sine of two times the uh, magnitude of the angle or the frequency so this plot shows us a lot of information um not not so helpful though Right, so let's go ahead and break this up. I have sine, sine, and sine as y1, y3, and y5. So let's go ahead and break those up. I'm going to say x and y3. Let's go ahead and pull that out uh, and put it in the first, and then y5. Right, so let's go ahead and break that out. Um, there we go. Okay, so now I have plot and plot. But we're also going to add one more thing to this. I would like one figure window to hold my sine information and one figure window to hold my cosine information. So I'm going to copy, here we go, all of my formatting information, paste it below my first figure. Now I have my, well, let's break them out here. There we go. Um, and here, okay. So now I have a figure that holds all of the sine information, again, y1 sine, y3 sine, y5 sine. Uh, and then I have a separate figure that's going to contain my cosine information, y2 cosine, y4 2 times cosine, y6 cosine of 2 times something. Um, we're going to have a frequency and an amplitude, the sine curve, and then now we're going to have the cosine curve, right? So we have the sine curve and cosine curve, except we'll say curves. Uh, we need legends for each one of these things, so we'll say legend. We'll say base sine curve. We'll say two times the sine. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's say the sine of x, uh, two times the sine of x, and the sine of two times x. Okay. And now... Let's go ahead and copy that because our second legend won't be that dissimilar. Um, so here we're going to say instead of sine, I have cosine. Instead of sine, I have cosine. And instead of sine, I have cosine. Uh, I'm going to run these two things. Now I have one figure that popped up, and it's my cosine curve. I'm going to move my legend because it's sort of in the way. Let's move it down here. Um, but if I move this one out of the way, I get my sine curve. So the figure window opens a new figure window. Remember I said when you initiate a plot command, MATLAB asks one question first, do I have an open figure window? In this case, if I say figure, MATLAB opens this figure window. So if I say figure, 
I get figure three. And then figure, figure four, figure five. Uh, let's say, oops, figure, figure six, figure seven, figure eight, figure nine, figure 10, figure 11. And up here, you can, or down here, you can see I have all of these figures open. If I rerun this section, it's going to close all of them. I'll just have figure one and figure two. My legend for my cosine curve will need to move. Now I have my sine curve and my cosine curve. So now this is how we can plot multiple continuous data sets in the same figure window. MATLAB has automatically determined the colors of the lines, so you can modify those following a similar example that we used. Um, but this is how we plot multiple curves using just the plot command. We could have used fplot, um, but that's a conversation for a different day. So, till next time.